All right, I think we're good. Where the hell is that? Hold on. Where'd it go? Hold on. I'm going to forget that's there, and it's going to scare me. It's just like... There's just so much going on. Burb, thank you. You know? I mean, there's just like... There's just like... So many emotions. Add it as an email? I don't know what to add it as. Shep Champ? Sh Shed Champ? It's so vibrant. I'm not using any color fiddle, but by the way. Shed Rage? Is it Rage? It could also be, oops, I pooped my pants. Shed Criminale? What if I just left the camera, like, what if I just left this, like, here the whole time? <laughs> what if I just, what if I just left it there? Oh, everyone say ciao. That's Lugia. She's here. She's watching. Ciao. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to add it. Uh, I'll, I'll add it after the stream, if, unless I forget, in which case I won't. But I, I, I will add it. face of the pineapple story the, you know the pineapple story had more fear in the face i don't know if that face has enough fear well they um sure are leading us off um with some good event quests <laughs> why are they like this? <laughs> like, why though? Like, but why? I mean, you could add anything. And you choose to add nothing. <laughs> I guess we really need that level. I guess we really need that sharpness. I want to change this. It's uh, it's not. It's not looking exciting. That looks like just weakness exploit. They were just showing that one off. I think. I know. I know the one you're talking about. I think they were just showing it off. What? What's going on with this set? I have no idea. I'm very confused. What? I got max attack boost, full crit eye, full crit boost. Is it 40, 55, 65? Doesn't seem very good. We're gonna come back to this at a certain point because that there's a lot of things about this that just feel like I could probably do a little bit differently. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, maybe it's also because I'm running, you know, Hellfire Cloak, so. 
Super Ultra Mega X Plus. Hello, good morning. It's actually, it's afternoon for me. It is 3.30 p.m. I was going to start at 3, but I was a little bit worried about the internet, so I, I was doing a bunch of testing. But it seems like it's holding. We've not dropped a single frame yet, so that's exciting. What is less exciting is the very first event quest being... Just a Blood Orange Bishitin and uh, an Acnesom. But I mean, hey, whatever. You know, you got to get it started from somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, he just like sits on the wall. So it's been, this will be the third stream where I was convinced I will actually finish my research level. And I think I actually will this time. I think it's actually going to happen. Switch X just like make such easy work of like everything. I actually don't even know if that move even shakes off the Hellfire or not. You know, I'm starting to get more and more used to Courage Hammer. Like, it actually starts to feel really good once you can start affording everything. An element doesn't seem terrible on it. For a while there, I couldn't really fit in everything I wanted, but now with everything else, it's really not a problem. the things oops, I have the hardest time evading are just tail slams in this game. The, the, the tracking seems good. <laughs> Lack of a better term. Just really good. Enjoying your gestures and stickers. Well, I'm looking forward to the gesture we're going to get. I might use it. Hammer is perfect in Iceborne. I'm playing above 60 FPS. I'm playing exactly at 60 FPS. I'm not going to play below 60 FPS. You'd have to be an actual... You'd have to be a complete psychopath to be like, I'm going to play at 30! I understand the argument for doing it, but I'm not going to do that to myself or to you. 60 is fine. You know, would I like to play at 120? Sure. But even then, that doesn't always play very well with OBS. Better use it, they'll drop me as a sponsored streamer. There's a difference between an official Capcom content creator and being a sponsored streamer. You get more damage at 30? Well, I made a video showing that you lose damage on dual blades uh, at 30. So that's the opposite of more damage. But then for Charge Blade, Rainy believes that he's able to get less um, what the hell is that thing called? Hit stop at 30? It's not consistent. Yeah, you need like a flow chart. I had somebody saying my exhaustion video today that they didn't think exhaustion did anything to Afflicted. And he linked a Japanese video where some guy was just shooting Afflicted monsters with exhaustion shot. And like, I get that exhaustion on its own isn't going to get the topple. But I'm pretty sure 
almost positive exhaustion does something like that. I tested it. And DSC um, even confirmed it, but like the code says that. Can I show this exhaustion build after this hunt? I kind of hate this one though. I don't know if it's worth it. This is something I was playing around with. Unless you like want one with Hellfire, in which case I'll show it to you. All right. Gesture gamers. It's time. A melding nectar? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess that one's kind of okay. In a way. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Why does it make your dogs beg? What? All right, I'll show you this set. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm happy with it, but this does have Hellfire Cloak on it. And so that's neat. Um, but I think I'm going to, to change it. So from, from this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put this, I'm just gonna put this on. And we'll, we'll see if I can get it to what I want it to be. Spears lowering hub ground to death. Yeah, it's pretty easy when you use that on him, isn't it? What do I even need now? Nothing? I have everything? Oh, rapid mode. This is this is what I would actually recommend. You know, actually, do if you want to be like super greedy with Cornerstone, you can drop that last piece of grinder. So this would be like an overall set, like a like you're not gonna have anything bad from this set. This set is only <laughs> only good things. Now, mind you, I've got a good roll on the helm. I've got a good roll on the chest. I've got a good roll on the arms. I have not a good roll on the tacit. And I've got a pretty good roll on the legs. Although not impossible. But the helm is a very good roll. The chest is also pretty lucky as a roll. I didn't even know you could roll two single slots like that. So this is the exhaust hellfire, so I should really save this here. Huh? 
Well, that's it for our event quests. I just, I thought we'd get more, you know? Like, I'm not disappointed. I mean, I'm not really disappointed. I'm just like, maybe like a little surprised. What does Hellfire do? Um, Hellfire Cloak makes it so that when you use the Wirebug to move around, so some switch, some Wirebug skills, but then also just like Wirebug dashing, you'll throw off your hell, um, Hellfire on your body. And if you explode that near a monster, they fall down. They fall down and they get hurt. I have it on this set too. What's your favorite event quest? Well, there's only one. <laughs> A grand gesture. Of all of them, I really liked doing the Apex Mitsu. Is that a level 91 Barra? What do they want? Uh, you can keep building it up against things other than Maldo. It just takes increasingly more. So it goes one, and then it takes like three, I think. Although it might be different in multiplayer. We'll try this, and then we'll try 81. And Maldo is a very short trip from Hellfire. Other monsters will stay down longer. Shed game available on Twitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it on Twitch after the stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it. It's so mad. It's so orange. <laughs> you said you have uh, colleagues that analyze facial expressions. Shed criminale. That, most people wouldn't. I don't think they'd get it. I blame the camera. Like I don't. I don't actually. I don't actually look like that. I'm not like deep fried and oily in real life. I don't know what was going on. Facial action coding system. What does that even mean? Why are they attacking the Bizarios? So is it like they would be able to detect if like I was acting or if that was like a real facial expression? I mean, imagine waking up and seeing that face. Interesting. What is, what is your first guess as to what the emotion is? Like pain, anger, disgust? To me, it looks kind of like a disgust. Mixed with anger. That the wrong one's activated could signify there's an emotion underneath of it, it's fake. That's so interesting. Yeah. 
I really want to know. Man, he is hitting hard. Huh? Didn't know I had such a big channel, like a big YouTube channel. That's not a big YouTube channel. I don't even have a hundred thousand subs. You don't feel qualified. You're more qualified than everyone else on Twitch. Imagine if I was able to like faking express an expression convincingly enough to fool researchers. I mean, obviously they wouldn't be fooled in the classic sense, but enough to like override the system that they have set up. There was like a TV show or something like that. What was it called? Like, Lie to Me? What does the event quest give? Disappointment. <laughs> Crippling disappointment. Honestly, if you're the sort of person that loves uh, gestures and cannot wait to have more gestures, they're okay gestures. I think, personally, I would rather have stickers. I mean, more than anything, I would love to have layered armor. <laughs> so... Cover facial expressions with other expressions. So if you try to cover fear with anger or anger with fear. Interesting. That sort of psychology and stuff is really interesting. I, I mean, to me, I'm assuming it's interesting to most people. How liars lie and how some of them get away with it. I made is fear and anger. Fear that I crapped my pants and anger that I did. Oh yeah. No, I, I would say it's it's probably very similar to um, like a polygraph test where like you couldn't ever use it a hundred percent. Like gun lance is like acceptable damage now. I mean, and like in every situation where you're taking a polygraph, like you're gonna be nervous. Just the fact that you could be like, oh crap, what if I actually failed this polygraph test? Do they have any good books on it or um, vi like YouTube videos? Because like I'd like to watch them. No, uh, polygraphs are not admissible evidence. I don't know if they've ever been. But I mean, that doesn't mean that your work couldn't ask you to use one.
Well, I mean, I'll say, like, as a uh, observer of the human condition, when you watch people and they only smile with their mouth, it is kind of creepy. Looks like they want to bite you. Was a barrel. Hopefully, I get him. So we just finish it solo. I like this cat with his little umbrella. Just crinkle your eyes a little bit. Do people find? Do you, I'm assuming there's some people out there who, in the midst of the uh, pandemic, were relieved that they no longer had to give fake smiles anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's got to be nice. Well, I guess those days are kind of over. I mean, people are, out here at least, kind of over it. Not as much as the U.S. U.S. is very much over it. I don't see any masks in the United States, but in Italy, you still see them from time to time. <laughs> 98 Barra, 98 Hermiton. Which is funny, I think Italy was one of the first countries that got hit. Really hard, but what are you gonna do? I mean, guns are give me death. I mean, it certainly could be arranged. I mean, if you're like, gonna be inside in a crowded area. Just like kind of makes sense. That's an okay run. 35 minute bear off. Mask wearing is still the law there. It's a good thing. So if I just want to attack the arms, what would I use? Fire sword and shield? Poison? What about those dual crit dual blades? Now this looks like I really modified it at all, though, huh? Let's roll on them. Superstar Holo. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll on them a little bit. Just a little bit. I am not dropping status trigger for anything. Crazy. It's not that you get more rewards from shorter quest times, it's that monsters have less life with shorter quest times. I don't really want any minus skills. Like, even an extra level one slot would be nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Usable skills, not wall runner. Okay, fine. I'll take counter strike. <laughs> fine. You win. I'll take charge master. I'm not even going to use it. But I'll take it. Maybe I'll just keep that. No. Uh, actually, interesting. 
but also probably no. I don't know. I'll throw it on, but I'm going to keep rolling anyways. I don't think it's good, though. Uh, did you not see what I ended up going with, Dirty Dan? I can flash it to you real quick again. Alright, go ahead and clip this, and then save it for yourself. No, I'm, I'm okay with Counter-Strike. I get hit enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually use Protective Polish on the Switch X. That is a thing I do. How's Jen? I talked to her a little bit in the morning. We were trying to figure out what we're going to do to get back uh, when we land in the U.S. And I ended up just renting I rented a car. Because, like, we could have waited for our parents, but our parents would have had to get a bigger car, and it would have been, like, six hours to wait. I said, I'll just rent a damn car. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And that's So that's what I did. It just makes sense. Do I like this chest? No. What if I put the other critical eye talisman on? This one? And then I use the bear off chest. Driving test is next week? Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. What did I get on the chest? Rapid morph? I mean, this level one slots are okay, I guess. Legal Eagly speed. As long as you're under, like, don't go five miles over the speed limit, or I guess what would that be? I don't know. Ten kilometers over the speed limit, you'll probably be fine. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know anything about anything. Thunderizer? The American one's a joke? Uh, my American driving test, I mean, it wasn't, like, super easy. Having to back into things is hard. I guess they didn't really make me parallel park, though. Uh, I think this kind of sucks. In general. Do I have any protective polish? I think I'm going to make and meld another Kaiser chest. Because I like that, but I don't like that it lost me a point of... Um, master's touch. Wait, am I using... I'm using the wrong... Oh, no, no, it's fine. That's a start. There'll be more bocce today. No. No, there's going to be meat or something for dinner tonight.
No. Although Master Mounter is attractive. I think no. Interesting. But I think also no. It's not really a skill I want. I did have a beer at lunch today, but it, like it's it's a two percent alcohol percentage, which is like nothing. I might just take this for the defense. But I got a bocce. Was it flurry at McDonald's with extra bocce? It's a heavy cost for one point of agitator, though, no? I feel like I'm in, like, the greatest hell of re-rolls that I've ever been in. No! help much. No. Okay, fine. 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 How's dog friend? I uh, walked the dog this morning and the dog has probably gotten at least... Seven to eight treats out of me today. I've given the dog a lot of treats. She deserves the treats. I'll bring her on stream soon. She's very cute. I'm her pet? Uh, sure. That wouldn't offend me. Sometimes she just like looks at me. Like I'm just standing there. <laughs> and she just walks up. She starts looking at me. I'm like, do you want anything? And she's a dog, so obviously she cannot talk. <laughs> but it's very cute. I'm trying to think if I, like, do I drop? Three points of attack boost for two points. I probably don't drop two points of attack boost. What am I at? 20? 70? 75? I'm going to switch the talisman again. I'm do something like this. That should be it perfectly, right? Three, five, seven. Okay. And then we'll just live with attack four. Maybe attack five. It's probably fine. I'm a new player. is wondering at what star level in the gathering. I'm having a decent build for light bowgun. One star. Let's make rapid normal two. It's very common for people to use. You don't, you don't gotta do, you don't gotta do anything. So if I got one point of blade scale hone, I don't really have to worry about sharpness, right?
I think I like this better. But early on, I mean, you know, normal up or um, rapid fire up as you can get it with normal too, like this, this gun here. And again, I'm talking about low rank. I think it's the bone gun. Oh, I guess technically you just start Defender's probably pretty good too, actually. Never mind, I'm a liar. Just use the defender gun. Why is it that weird green color? You can post links, but they'll get immediately nuked. It depends if you want to use defender or not. If you don't want to use defender, then, you know. Good. Some of the earliest guns that are really fun to play and build around are the Magnamalo guns because you can use pretty much all the shots effectively. For single shots, there's other guns that are better, but it ends up being like a little bit more boring when you play it that way, I feel like. If you're fighting a training pole, I mean, obviously the highest capacity spread gun is going to be good. You see me play range weapons? I just don't find them that interesting to play or especially that interesting to watch. Yeah, there's better players than me, like Cast Stuffy, who's like a god with Bowgun who could do some interesting stuff with it, especially pre-recorded. But otherwise, a lot of it just comes down to like walking up to the monster and pushing the shoot button. <laughs> yeah, we were doing stuff with like um, Cluster at one point that was pretty fun to watch. Gun Lance is a range weapon. You can definitely attack at range with it. I'm not going to do Clust OS. I haven't even seen if they've really changed up the Clust formula that much. Presumably there's one more gun that does the line shot now. Look how much mud he dropped. A muddy boy. Plus get nerfed? I don't know. I haven't really tested it. Best weapon ride is Espinos? I'd say Garn Golem and Rajang are still very good. I'd say Rapid Fire Piercing is best all around setup. Piercing is very dependent on the size and shape of the monster. Something against like a Mitsu? Yeah, it's really good. Where are you getting blade skill home your set? My uh, TO strip chest. I think heavy bow guns are a lot of fun, but I agree that from a damage perspective. They're not doing too much right now that a uh, light bow gun doesn't do. And defensively, they almost are reliant on skills, kind of like... Oh, what the hell is that skill? Redirection. 
Because it's not like the shields can be really relied on. And it's not like any of the defensive options can be super relied on with all the multi-hits that are out there. Should be dealing more damage with these. I don't know. That light bow gun was out damaging heavy bow gun against a training pull. I don't see how that's true in any way, but in a real fight, sure. The um, plus to rapid damage skill in the game is kind of a scary thing that Light Bowgun got. It's like a complete unique like to Light Bowgun ability that kind of wants to push you towards the uh, rapid shot, you know, play style. Was it 20% more damage? It's kind of nutty. Sometimes I feel like evasions in this game are super generous, and then sometimes I just feel like they don't care. Is that new for Rise? Uh, as far as I know. I don't think it was even a skill in Frontier, but I could be wrong. <laughs> what are you doing, Pookie? It's just weird, like I've clearly evaded through some hits and not gotten the proc, and then I've also <laughs> clearly gotten hit by some hits and then gotten the proc anyways. I guess if I had one major complaint about Rise at this point in the game is the rework to evasion is just bizarre. Like, and I understand it, they wanted to balance it, you know, relative to how powerful the wire bug skills were going to be, but it's still very strange. <laughs> FPS cap effect of Aidwood? I don't think it should, but hey, it's already engine. We're dead. We died. Okay. Some people get really mad about how I never get punished. kickback someday. I mean, it's deserved.
Yeah, I mean, the damage on them isn't, I mean, great. I mean, you... Same, same thing happened again. But you get a lot of status procs. I was hoping the poison and blast would work. In theory, they're a good set. Evade window is just like different. I don't know, I want to make good use of the set, but I feel like it's very matchup pushers. I don't know, I guess that was too early? Uh, you just have a lot less base iframes, like even compared to like Freedom Unite. Gotta be like one hit. The sharpening still fine, boob. I just find it so annoying to keep up though. Versus just putting on one point of blade scale hone. I should be using feral demon mode honestly like i've got you know i give myself bonus blast and poison but i think i just need the raw damage This is so tanky. I don't know. I don't know if maybe like fire dual blades would have been better, water dual blades, no dual blades, just two gun lance. It's too confusing. Just do bow gun. What'd you do? Like piercing fire? Just do spread. Just spread three. There was a person who made that comment. It's like, why not just use spread three and everything? You could. You 
have a bunch of level 100 guys today. That'll be fun. Didn't I have a good Anjana? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um... I'd love to level up this 25-minute one. <laughs> but that's like... 27 hunts? Or so, right? I don't know if sometimes he levels up more than once at a time. I'll settle for the 30-minute one. <laughs> You don't want any of those items? What else could you possibly want? He has all the rares. Outside of the new rares. He's got melding pudding. He's got reroll juice. And he's got decos and outfit vouchers. I doesn't even have a <laughs> Lazarite jewels? Yeah, the people that didn't grind, yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. I don't even know when the last time I even looked at Greatsword was. I'm kind of thinking of doing the Greatsword. How do you get low tier monsters at high levels without leveling them like crazy? Sometimes you just roll them gather more things in the field or fight monsters that have a lot of drops. SOS Leech is also a very good recommendation. bother running Silver Soul. How are the slots here? Pretty good. Just keep it a white. You're back. Welcome back. There's a 357. What could I? That looks that all looks kind of like okay. Could I here? One. Two. Three. They're even more disappointing than I thought they would be <laughs> unlucky. And I was expecting for them to be very disappointing, so... I mean, that's really saying something. Um, maybe we do, like, Master's Touch Plus? Oh, I've got Razor Sharp. I can do Razor Sharp Plus. We'll just do that. Did they buff Razor Sharp? I could have sworn it went 10, 25, 40. I'm not going to think about it too much. Razor Sharp is always 50? Brain warning. That's all that is. I've actually got a lot of room. I've got like a lot of room on this set. I don't even know what to put it into. Divine Blessing, maybe? Let's see how... Let's see how all this stacks up. Surprisingly well. I have no idea. I really have no idea what to put in. Charge Master? But I'm using, um, I'm using Surge Slash, so. I could, I can max out Divine Blessing, and I, I, I might. Did you get an updated elemental damage challenge since Curio Crafting? What? I don't know what that means. 
updated elemental damage challenge. Should I know what that means? I'm very concerned. <laughs> Is that a me problem? Oh. No. No, I have not. Yeah, but that was funny. No, that was just at the beginning. That was just right when the game came out. That looks great. That's like a lot of damage and stuff. Wirebug Whisperer 2 is also really nice. It's like the perfect amount. I mean, Wirebug Whisperer 3 is great if you're like constantly spamming, but just for like normal, like casual play. I feel like the way to go, this is the way to go. The only issue is, is like, it's possible this is not the best great sword to use. It's very possible, if not probable, that um, Mitsu's better. It should do better raw damage. Mitsu's a cooler design. I kind of like the big sponge. Is Jerry's great sword any good? Probably. It it's a lot of work to make it good, but it's it's probably pretty good. I mean, that's a lot of raw. You know, you would need to run some extra points, but like I've got extra points like I could put um, we'll just resubscribe for 40 another two points into masters or into shot. maximum might thanks, for all, thanks for all the dope streams thank you for enjoying them like this exact this exact setup I could just run two two points of maximum might and that would be it you know the, the, the issue is is a it looks like ass B I would need to put like a point of handicraft in, which would make it a little bit more difficult to use. Um, and then see, it'd have to be protective polish. But I mean, after all that, oh, you probably don't even run any plus water on it. Maybe three points. But at this point in the game, like those seriously heavy negative weapons, like in terms of affinity, like you can get past it. Depending on the weapon type. Like, definitely. Especially in Greatsword. Unless you're constantly tackling, so Maximum Might is never up. It should be fine. It would definitely be a fun great sword to build for. I mean, like I said, it, it, it looks like ass, but purple sharpness and 350 rods is kind of a big deal. It's just getting and keeping that purple sharpness and the fact that you've got basically no element on there. It's the only issues. For like strong arm? I think it's like an easy win. Nope. nope. But I was saying it yesterday. Like once you start getting up to these like level 100 guys. Like, you actually have to start thinking, like, a little bit about defense. Like, unless you're doing a speed run. Like, they could really toast your biscuits. So 
it's, it's a it's a consideration. Biscuits afterwards? That's the worst part. They don't even butter the biscuits. No, the anomaly investigations are very good. Just a really good system. was such a good hit. Oh, that looks so good. The jaw in your thumbnail preview looked like Devil Joe and you panicked? What? Oh, I haven't even been using Demon Droid. Like, my jaw? Was it... Was it this? Did you see that? And that... That... That's what alarmed you? Jeez. Just stop missing a rope. The Anjana, though. gestures. I've I've seen worse. But I didn't I wouldn't say I like them. I'm kind of on team stickers. I think stickers are better. Layered armor is obviously the best. But they seem pretty content to just sell them to us. his hardest hitting attack. I'm still curious to see if like that's going to be the model going forward. <laughs> that was a me problem. That was not an Anjanoth problem. Get yourself something nice on vacation? I will directly use your sub money to purchase a cone of gelato for myself and my wife tomorrow. Your $5 is going directly that. Wait, no, what's tomorrow? Friday? Saturday. Two days from now.
I just can't believe the ice cream is that cheap. And like, and it's good. It's not like bad ice cream. over too much. Today is Thursday? It's technically cheaper than five dollars. It's one one fifty euro for a, uh, a single scoop of gelato in a cone. A waffle cone, mind you. Not even like one of those crappy sugar cones. I don't know what day is today. I thought it was Thursday. That's yeah, Thursday. Yeah, no, Sicily, Sicily's gotten away without having like crazy high inflation. Fifty euros is one ninety six Canadian. I mean, what can 196 Canadian get you <laughs> normally? I, there was a short period of time where Canada had a stronger um, currency than the United States. They must have been so smug. It's okay, you guys still have real health care, and you don't have to worry about gun violence on a daily basis, so you still win, even if you didn't win the currency war. <laughs> the fire coming out of his mouth. Lefty alert! <laughs> Is that supposed to be an insult? What? <laughs> Look at this lefty! reading or watching something and it was talking about how like in the US like we can't even have like a normal conversation about like leftist policies versus rightist policy policies because like our left um, is already right of center in most European countries like like the really far left political parties are talking about like maybe we should ban clocks <laughs> because the abstract concept of time might be harmful to us. <laughs> like that's that's like real leftist policies, you know? Like the policies of like, hey, maybe maybe we should have healthcare for people is like not even debated in other countries. It's just like it's just like normal. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I I'm not a huge fan of time zones. If if a political party said they're going to get rid of clocks in time, I might actually vote for them. Like, I could be convinced. I would consider it. <laughs> it wouldn't it, it wouldn't put me off immediately. Like, I, I'd have to sit down and really consider it. Yeah, I could be 27 forever. Hey, I saw an article about an actress... And her gimmick is that she never ages past the age of 17 in spite of being a woman with a, her own child who is also now a fashion model. And I'm like, if she can do it, I can do it. If she can be forever 17, I can't. Well, I don't, I'm not claiming to be 17. I'm just 27.
seasons aren't going to be real soon anyways. I mean, yeah, why, why do you need a month? Just go 1 through 30. Thirty-seven. Do I look thirty-seven? Does this look like the face of a man who is thirty-seven years old? Is that what a thirty-seven year old looks like? <laughs> huh? Tell me! Answer me! That face is at least forty-five. <laughs> 45-year-old who has not gotten the proper amount of water or fiber in their diet. Yeah, no, yeah, look, look, look at that smooth, red, greasy skin. <laughs> I didn't even feel like I was sweating. But I guess I must have. Lucia has been very concerned that I'm too hot in this room. The other rooms in the house have air conditioning. But, like, I don't know. This isn't any hotter than the sunroom. It's your hair. What, makes me look younger or older? Which is the crazier. No, I'm, I'm ready for this room. This room's no problem. I'm not sweating it at all. Messy? I just got curly hair, bro. I mean, what do you want me to do? I can't just, like, what do you want me to go go to a stylist and have them straighten it? That's just what my hair is. I can't do anything. Shave head. I don't really want to be bald. I don't really want to be bald yet. I don't want to be like Omega bald yet. It's not a, it's, it's not a perm. Why does everyone always think I've got, I just bald, just shave the top of my head and just have like the little horseshoe thing. Actually, kind of funny. <laughs> just, just shave it. Just <laughs> give me the sixty-year-old accountant. <laughs> hairline could be better. Careful, buddy. I've had this hairline since I was like a teenager. Okay. You like my hair? Thank you. I like you. Francis of Assisi? I don't know what that is. But I'm going to take it as a compliment. Put a target on your back? There's really, there's no mercy. We've got the list 2.0 up and, and chugging right now. He looks so peaceful. Grow it out? I am grow I've been growing it out for like five months, but it's curly, so it just curls in on itself. Can't do anything about it. I think there's surprisingly large amount of damage in this build. Fractal hit. <laughs> Basically. an afro you go back to the older vods you can see me when i had it kind of growing out for a while it does get pretty crazy after a while Woo. get split ends uh i mean i've got the floby for that i occasionally go over the top Waddling around. Maybe, um, oh, maybe Hammer wasn't a good choice. I don't know.
I'm actually able to topple him this first time through. I don't even know if I'm going to try and do the spinning bludgeon. I don't even know if it's worth it. Because I feel like I'm just going to miss a whole bunch of hits. Like, I'm not even sure if I could hit this golf swing. Honestly, there's probably like, maybe not the Mitsu hammer, but if there's like a crab hammer, that might actually be a better choice. a shot. Well, kind of landed everything. That was even better than the last time. It's interesting how getting a topple changes their AI. If they're like about to leave, they decide that they're just gonna stay. Which one of the original complaints for base rise was things would just like constantly leave the zones. So I guess that kind of helps resolve that a little bit. I might, I might grab one of these guys. They're just like standing there. And they're both okay Pokemon. Basil's like really good. No, the constant running and rise, especially base rise, definitely got a little tiresome. In World, the only thing that ever got super tiresome was actually just Basil showing up on investigations and constantly ganking you.
That's unfortunate. That is fortunate. I never really got annoyed by Banbro, but I don't think I did quite as many investigations in Iceborne. So a good list of the changes in Rise versus Sunbreak. Well, Sunbreak didn't change too much outside of giving us the um, switch stances. But you know, it really is very optional for a lot of weapons. Yeah, there's two new switch skills at least for every weapon. Oh, I actually landed it. Well, Greatsword got arguably one of the best changes because you, it, it has like an entirely new playstyle now. If you count strong arm stance, two new playstyles, kind of. No, Greatsword definitely got blessed with the switch switch skill department for sure, like considerably. Seems like the frames have been okay. We only dropped 400, which is nothing compared to yesterday. Yesterday we dropped like 60,000 frames. Not good. <laughs> hey, I'm almost uh, 100. I'm one away. So like people were like complaining, like, man, like, is the stream bad for everyone? When I looked over, it's like 60,000 frames have been dropped. I don't think there was much of a delay, although maybe by the end there was. I guess we'll just keep doing this one. May as well. I don't know when the last time I looked at water dual blades has been. Sometimes it's annoying though, using water dual blades on him. I'm gonna just use the water. Why does that say water axe? And then why is it? <laughs> why is it a great sword? Oops. Swap to that quest complete slow motion. That's a um that's a mod. If you type in exclamation mods, you'll you'll find it. Maybe I'll just build a crab axe. While I have this opportunity to build another setup. Doesn't start in purple though. Do any? Do any of them start in purple? Could Mitsu X be good now? With a rampage upgrade slot? It's very debatable, isn't it?
whether it's worthwhile or not. Well, the nice thing here is you get the 15% affinity. Kind of frees up your arms a little bit. I just feel like there's a lot of purple that you got to put on crab, right? Where's crab? Was that three purple? Three handicraft, that is. With the purple, it works out to be about the same. Raw-wise. You get slightly better water, slightly better affinity. Um, before I do anything, can I even make the upgrade? Yes. Yes. Can Sharpness Boost give purple? It can get you on your way to purple. For sure. So actually, I do not want the Baroth arms anymore. I probably want the Jaggy arms. Rank hello. And then I have a Baroth chest that's actually kind of pretty good. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't care at all about crit on Switch Axe, but I still feel like it's worth consideration. I don't know, maybe that's not good. I kind of need more level 4 slots. It's going to go out on it. I mean, this definitely gives me the level 4 slots that I need. Just put. It works so well, doesn't it? Why not care about crit and switch axe? I mean, some people are just like, they just love file damage. They That's all they think about is their file damage. In base rise, there was definitely a situation where you had to make a choice, but you don't really have to make the choice anymore. You should be able to have both. Can I actually max out expert, I think. Oh. Everything kind of fits perfectly, huh? It's pretty neat. The only issue here is like I don't I don't really I don't really care about maxing out water. One, two, three, four, five. 
Like, I really don't care. I mean, I guess I should. Like, just doesn't, like, do too much. Like, it's stuck with one grinder. It's, like, so lame. Like, I'd almost rather just have, like, three cornerstone, spirit birds call, than one grinder. Gives me 12 more? This is lead piece the layered one. Uh, what's it called? A thoroughly died item. I think you gotta complete all the follow requests for that one. Pretty sure that's what it is. Is this PP or Master's, Master's Touch? I got three protective polish. I don't have any master stuff. dog starts barking out here and then every other dog in the neighborhood starts barking all right what are they barking about is it, are they just being like hey i hear you i hear i'm gonna bark too hey here do you hear me hello what goes on in their brains you know who doesn't bark when the other dogs bark gocha sweet beautiful dog She just walks up to me and she wants treats. And then I give them to her. <laughs> Remind me after this quest and I will bring Dog on. She trained me already? You know what's funny is like, I'm trying to train her to sit. But she's smart enough now, she knows when I'm about to tell her to sit, that she just sits ahead of time before I give the command. So I, I don't really know what to do. Because like, I mean, obviously I just give her the treat anyway. What? Oh. That's good though? Mind reading dog is a good thing? It's obviously not a bad thing. It's, she's doing what I wanted to do. Teach her a new command? It's very difficult to teach her a new command. She already had like... Jesus, some training with sit before. So it's very easy to, to reinforce the command. How about lying down? I can try and teach her that. She can do the paw thing. She can give the paw and she can sit. The, the, real, the real goal is to make it so that when I take the leash out, she does not completely lose her mind, which has been the, the main issue. <laughs> she really likes going on walks. Which, I mean, I don't blame her. It's probably pretty sweet if you're a dog going on walks. Bonjour, is it say in Italy? They do say buongiorno. Uh, actually, I have. I have been using the leash in my training. Uh, since this morning. going to go right on the head. That's what I'm going to do. I could do a better wake up, but that looks like pretty good damage, huh? 
attack is like maybe too easy to use. Smart, but like the cat, they've got like four cats here. Three cats are what I would describe as normal cats. But there is one cat who's like almost feels like a, a sociopath in that like he likes hanging around humans, but only to fight them. <laughs> it's very weird. Like he's lived here his whole life, like he was raised from a kitten. But he doesn't really like it being pet. Did he bite me? Yes! Of course he did. He does it to everyone here. Well, I... Of course, if you overstimulate a cat, they're gonna go into, like... Murder love mauling mode this cat only has one mode what the hell he's got a rock he's got the hit I think I, I kind of like, I kind of like this axe. I'm able to make it work. The issue is, is like, most water weak monsters aren't really water weak. It's a lie. Sword mode, what combo do I use to build energy? Uh, be, be more specific, like amp state or energy for the weapon. So, the new two stage combo restores a lot. Other than that, just making sure that you're doing a jo good job of continually going into, by the way, frames. That's on my computer, I don't know why. Um, going to Axe mode as often as possible, using Switch Charger. I have no idea what's going on here. And then the two-stage combo is a good way to do it. Just put him in a pitfall trap. <laughs> That's so much damage. I got the trap down.
That feels bad. Man, these level 100 monsters are hard. I wonder what adds more survivability, Defense 5 or Divine Protection 2? The only time I would say, like, Switcher is really important for two-stage morph is for Power File. But it's still fun to use on the other files. It's not like the weapon's really lacking in damage. Defiance 5? You, if you were paying attention there for one brief moment, he um, went out of capturable state. Could you see it? Oh, you couldn't see it. You just have to believe me. <laughs> Thank you. challenging game now like even the end game even at only level i mean not even 100 but almost 100 like things are a challenge when i turn blue what happens if i turn red what about then that's enraged oh i see level 100? Am I free? Yep. Hooray! Look at all those, look at all those quests we unlocked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Free to keep farming forever. Game over next game? Oh, are there good any good titles there? <laughs> I haven't checked in a long time. There's 104 pages worth of titles. And they have still not added Shepard back to the list. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> There's even Velocipre in the game. Can change it to Thrustmaster. <laughs> I'm not currently under sponsor from them, so. Man, you can make some really messed up stuff. You could say Thrust and Climax. <laughs> you can't even say Climax in chat <laughs> without getting auto modded big bro climax with big bro <laughs> whole climax you cannot say that Bipolar. I don't know if you should add that as a title. That's like maybe a little offensive for 2022. Fresh out of the oven. Throbbing Climax. Climax. <laughs> 
<laughs> Throbbing big bro climax. Oh no. I'm not even gonna touch come and go. Climax of the story, uh-huh. I'm sure. Thank you for the coins. So he just caps at a hundred? That's kind of lame, huh? Magnum Mall is so scary. Is anyone else fr like frightened by Ma Magnum Mall? Am I the only one? But you know, 30 quests not fighting Valstrax for his mantle is okay. And, but honestly, like with, with all the new stuff we have, like Valstrax is slightly less beneficial. Am I blind? Do I not have any Magnum Aldo? Guess not. Page two. Never mind. Got many of them. And then, oh, this is a good one too. Well, maybe not a great one. It's only faint two times, but it's okay. See what our weapon choices are. I almost feel like poison is just better to use on him. Poison or blast. Man, this Rajang weapon's probably like really, really good. You can overcome that affinity, no problem. And you could probably even get it to purple sharpness. I already have it made. I think it's still good. I don't know. What would you use over it? I mean, all right. Under the assumption that you're fighting... Magnum Allo. Like, what would you even use over it? Like, you wouldn't use this one. You like the Furious Weapons because you never have to hunt high rank monsters? Understandable. Barrier arms are just such good value. One, two, three, four, five. You set your alarm to 4 a.m. Ciao. Everyone say ciao. Like this. Do I still use it, though? I mean, it's still good value, right? What if I use the alloy one? My alloy one... Oh, you're still at the hotel. You're leaving the hotel? Or you're leaving to go to the hotel? This gets full protective polish. I, I'm going to see if I can get it up to purple. No PP charm? No. No, I don't need PP charm. Sure. 
That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get it up to purple. I don't know if it would be worth it. Let's just see what it would look like like this. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, that, that would be the next step. Now, these arms I've got on right now are, are amazing. I mean, look at what they have. They rolled Divine Blessing and Protective Polish. I think it's pretty good. So this ends at just having 90% affinity. I think that's okay. All right, granted, there's going to be some people out there, but what about, but streamer, offensive guard. Relax. This is going to be pretty good. I don't really need that other grinder. I guess I'll put it on, though. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, it means so much damage. It's going to be a good choice against Magnamala. It's debatable how good it will be against most things. Are any of the weapon augments good for full shelling Gunlance? Uh, handicraft in a way. It gets you purple on the Pyro, Arachna, Kadachi, Gunlance, saving you room for other things. Saves you a slot. Which can be used on other guard or whatever. Man, imagine when they get, like, afflicted level 140 scorned Magnum Allo. It's going to be ass trauma. Did greatest Ragi. I mean, at least with him, you could just run poison resistance. Same thing with Baggy, you could run, you know, sleep resistance. It's not as scary. I bet you.
and get your face. What are you doing? Oh, you're going after Baggy. <laughs> you got wrecked by the Baggy. <laughs> it's like, who the hell do you think I am? No! Reassuring to see the spirit birds gradually floating down at you as time goes on. Largest wastes of um, various statuses possible <laughs> within a five second period of time. Still had one left. One CC possible. One more cornerstone for four? For five? Not for three. Three is like. You gotta have it, number. For raw dog or element dog? I prefer status dog. When monsters were a little bit easier, I was leaning a little bit more towards paralysis because sometimes the sleep is annoying. But now that things are so strong, I'm pretty okay having two sleep dogs. Pets to me just feel so effective.
Oh, they're too effective? No. Maybe that's okay, though. What is even going on? Like, he's not even, like, morbed out. Like, what's he doing? Or is he? I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. What? more doubt now. I want to get him with a uh, spider. Great baggies back. What? How is he so smart? I'm just a closet boy, okay? That's all I am. That's all I ever will be. Shield actually heals a lot with its basic combo. With Bloodlight. You can get that out quickly enough, it's really nice. Sometimes I'm able to. When you can, like, if you see as soon as he's moving backwards, you can get him in the shock trap. So stream quality, not quite too butt cheeks today. I, I, we're at 720p, 4,000 kilobits a second stream right now. I'm assuming it's watchable. It's like there are people here. 
better than yesterday. Yeah, this this is probably gonna be the quality we're gonna stream at for the next week till we get home. Looks okay for the switch. Like now, like we can't make fun of the people that ask like if it's the switch. Is <laughs> debatably it is. Still looks better than the switch. That's so nice of you to say. like a real wall over here, right? That'll work. I guess we're done. It's a hard fight. Tigrex is a lot easier than him. Most things are easier than him. Like, he scales better than some of the A5 guys. Like, Aurora Camp is maybe the hardest monster in the game. I don't know if anyone agrees with me. I don't think anyone's going to argue too much. Aurora Camp is a dick. That was like a 25-minute one, right? 30-minute one? the afflicted dire scales I don't have too many of them I've barely fought Mitsu this quest with Mitsu and Baggy might be okay 30 minutes and it's two of them No real commonalities though. Thunder, I guess, works fine. Maybe I'll just use this again. I could see it happening, Enigma. I mean, they're pretty good at listening to fan feedback and it's definitely the sort of thing they could like do. I'm still curious to see about the double monster quests and whatever they're talking about in terms of like super monster quests or more empowered, like how exactly they want to define that.
Now right, let's just see what happens here. But I'm just gonna like run away. So I guess I'm gonna take the baggy and beat up the Mitsu. They kept adding all those like little golden and red wire bugs and like, I feel like they're almost more helpful for your own wire bugs more so than they are actually like fighting. Like I guess right when the game dropped, it was kind of nice for getting parts for the melding pot. But after a while, it feels like you've just like so much extra room for the melding pot now. It doesn't feel like an issue. Oh god, I'm on the wrong... I was on orange, not on blue. There's a while, like, I really thought I was gonna be like a destroyer oil user. And that just like never happened. just slam the Mitsu into the Lunagron. Try to at least. I screwed that up. Not doing a very good job. It's not a good play. Slightly better. my brain's final warning guys you're seeing the final days of my brain <laughs> as it struggles i'm going to be starting tomorrow with final fantasy 14 as my way of subtly indicating that i'm ready for the retirement home No disrespect to Final Fantasy XIV players out there, but you know. You know what I'm talking about, Jesus Christ. Has Gaijin even really even, like, posted or talked about Rise at all? Or has he just been enjoying XIV? No judgment either way. Curious. Is that a new attack for Master Rank? How does, how does Rory Khan contradict himself? The only thing I was kind of 
disagreed with Rurikon about in base rise was he was like it's okay to have quests that don't have any rewards. It's a strange take. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's cool to have fun quests, but they should give something. <laughs> Anything. Even, dare I say, stickers <laughs> for the Super Apexes. Hooray! A couple Lazarite decos that I don't need. If it's a gimmick size quest, the thing is, it's like, that's actually still something because you're at least give something to the crown farmers, you know? So, I mean, that's kind of something. Hold on, I missed that comment. You said he acts like he doesn't care about damage, but then he says he hates Curio? What? I don't care about damage, cries about buffs, hates Curio? I don't understand. I'm trying to understand. I mean, for me, for Gunlance and Base Rise, I was always like, this damage sucks, but the weapon's fun, so I'm gonna play it anyways. And now that the damage is better, I'm like, this weapon is still fun, but the damage sucks less, so I'm gonna play it more. <laughs> That's essentially my take. I mean, there are cases where weapons can be so strong that it's bad. And my uh, example for that is like, Pre Sunbreak Longsword, like people would just like make fun of you. Like people just make fun of you if you used, used Longsword. And I mean, you know what? You kind of deserved it. It was like nice cheater weapon. Sticky users, like powerful and too, too good, lazy weapon. Like, the funny thing is, like, I think Longsword's probably, like, relatively fair and probably pretty entertaining to use now. Uh, but I still haven't used it because I got, like, that, that, like, rise stink on me, you know? I mean, I have definitely not min-maxed my Curio. I've gotten some good Curio rolls that have made building my sets way better. I mean, the thing is, is in like, prior to title update one, um, you could already have like a nearly complete set. Now, even with like minimally decent rolls on Curious Crafting, you could basically get every skill that you want. It's like almost like Fatalis tier in world. Outside of, like, the cool bonus skills. Now, the cheating people that want to put up, like, you know, one minute, 30 second speed runs because they've hacked, like, maximum possible legal rolls onto their sets. I mean, okay. If you're frustrated that it's harder to do, like, I get it. But, like, what do you get, you know, I don't think it's anything worth getting upset about. You know, to me, if you hack in, like, the best rolls, yes, you will get slightly faster times for when you've got cracked out <laughs> weapons. But you're, like, removing the endgame loop for yourself. I mean, if you're okay with doing that, why did I do that? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Ah!
Yeah, I don't know what it is with gunners and all all the hacking. I don't know. I don't know what's up with those guys. I don't know what they're doing. Who cares if you have attack boost four or seven? I mean, the better player will still, on average, have a faster clear time. I mean, I don't know, 5% more raw? I mean, that's something. Especially when you add that on to, like, crit and stuff like that. But especially in this endgame, when it's so easy to get so many skills, I would agree it's, it's less, less beneficial. 50 and 5% more damage? I don't know. Depends how long your rant on Reddit is. Is Wivenheart worth using yet? It looks cool. Monster Hunter should have ended, have an end like Rise? Like, we shouldn't have a system that could allow you to play the game basically forever that is not just, like, endlessly rolling on charms? That's very strange. I don't even... <laughs> I don't understand that opinion. I mean, the game can be over when you got all the check marks, or when your guild card is complete, or your research level is 100. Why did I bully the baggie? He's part of the quest. I just don't. I don't know. I just think curious crafting is such an interesting thing to add to the game that allows players to continue playing the game for a very long time as they get very small incremental buffs to their weapons and armor. Like in that you feel like your time is satisfactorily spent without feeling like you're that far behind if you haven't like completely min-maxed everything. I mean, there are other games than Monster Hunter, but it's like, so many of them just, <laughs> some of them are really good. This, this is, I mean, I, I said it before, like, this is the number one best title update for at least Twitch content creators for Monster Hunter that has ever been released. Because... Safi and Cole both theoretically had like a reasonable end at a certain point where like, all right, I'm just gonna stop. He's like, I don't need that last one weapon. Whereas with this, you could be like, hey, maybe it's time to spend a day re-rolling on my alloy chest builds. And you could do that. <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily want the infinite grind. But it does make playing the game in a normal progression-like state, which is what I really enjoy at a Monster Hunter, much more enjoyable. It was pretty fun. I mean, it was like just chatting streams, Red Snapper. And at least for me, like, you know, when I was able to, like, organize 16-person lobbies, it was beneficial to the community as well. Wish level 100 items gave more rolling items? I mean, aren't I gonna get like 10 out of this quest? This isn't even level 100, but I think I'm gonna get like 10. 10 prime essence, it's a guess. I mean, it's also reasonable to assume that Title Update 2 and Title Update 3 will also add things that will make it rolling easier in the future. I don't think there's too much to be worried about in that way. They did the same thing for the Guiding Lands, you know? And, and they'll probably do that too, Red Snapper. I got 15. I mean, I got, I got 15 essences. It's not even level 100. 
It'd probably be 20 at max level. Seven rolls? Yeah. I mean, that's okay. That's a good amount of rolls. I don't know. Am I undervaluing rolls or overvaluing rolls? What do you want it to give you like a hundred rolls? <laughs> I might be able to get better Baryoth arms. I still want to keep rolling on Rathalos Coil. I really want to get like an extra point of attack or an extra point of crit. Hundred rolls worth of mats? I don't think so. I, just, I really shouldn't do that though. The problem is, all right. Here's the problem. Can I show you guys the problem? Can you listen to me for for a minute? This has rapid fire up. Rapid fire up is a very valuable skill. If I ever gun, which I probably will not. But if I did, this would be great. Razor Sharp 1 in a level 1 slot is a good roll, it's just not a great roll. Hey, Biello. I'll roll on these arms. I never play bow guns. You're right, I know. And I would have to specifically play light bow gun, which again, I don't want to play light bow gun. I know. This is a me problem. But man, that protective polish is good. What else could I get on there that would be good? Like attack or crit eye? I got handy crap. So I'm probably never going to use these because rolling out the chain crit is stupid. Even if those slots are good, like the whole point of these is the chain crit. I just want, like, I want to upgrade that last slot to level two. This is maybe okay. Just wait for the chain crit deco. I can't. Rolling on stinky arms. Aren't these good, though? If it gets 442, look at these points go away. This is this should be banned on Twitch. I should not be allowed to stream this. Time to get those gambling sponsorships? I would never. I would actually never. <laughs> I would go get a, a real job before I, I did that.
Man, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks so bad. I hate it. I'm so mad. My points! I gotta stop. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I can walk away. I can stop anytime I want. I can stop at any time. Already addicted. Crit boost one four four three. I know. Sometimes you gotta let it walk away. Just one more. I know it's the one. If not, I can time you up for fifteen minutes. I'll take that deal. Sorry, the button's only there for 30. <laughs> I had five and I had 15 and I just went with the 15. I kind of need to do an Izuchi, don't I? That's so like, that's so like messed up. I shouldn't have to do an Izuchi, and yet I need to do an Izuchi. Is it like a baggy? Thirty-five minute baggy. I'll just do it. It's a good arm piece to gamble on. Jaggy arms are good. Barioth arms are good. Azuchi actually gets up sometimes. I want to use the hammer. Is there a better fire hammer than this one right now? Well, probably not again, Baggy. This is probably the best on Baggy. It's got three charge master. Oh, I don't... Hold on. Yeah, I mean, I rolled Charge Master, not maxed fire. It's okay. Charge Master is going to help carry the, the slack. The Charge Master 3. Could have been 60s instead of 57s. Um, element doesn't work on the little impact file burst. 
any reason to use blaster or fire if it's very effective? Uh, part breaks, maybe? Wow. Normally you don't see Big Bang get do that. There's some monsters like Rajang. He's kind of weak to blast. Then again, he does have 30 ice on his head. Maybe depending on the weapon you have, it might make sense. Yeah, multi monster could be okay. Especially if you've got multiple blast weak guys. What is it, Rajang? And who else takes extra damage? Does Kushala take extra damage? I guess it might. Rajang, Kushala. Maybe like uh, Rachna? I don't think that quest is possible. Kind of sad. <laughs> this is just kind of how it goes when you fight Baggy once you're all set up. Sleep resist is cheating. It's not cheating. This is what they let Riozo do when they say when they let him play Sunray. Well, how else are you supposed to get heights? <laughs> Azuchi, I guess, right? Azuchi's a real fight. I do have to fight the bear more. It's insane how it like never, it feels like it never stops. I got two heights. Issue with Azuchi is like he doesn't feel super weak to element. Timed out because your name was mistaken for the Dan guy. Did I time did I time out the wrong person? No. You got timed out because you said Monster Hunter 6. Don't don't look for sympathy. You're not going to find any of it here. Well, this hammer is pretty good. Tetronodon? What does he drop? Dragon blood? I don't think I really care about that. Why is it a timeout? Like the real answer or like the beam answer? <laughs> The real answer is because people wouldn't shut up about Monster Hunter 6 and, like, Sunbreak hadn't even released. <laughs> they just kept asking questions about it. It's like, 
Why not get excited for the game that's literally coming out in two weeks? <laughs> the meme answer is whatever you want it to be. You gonna play Monster Hunter 6? I'm playing Chimera Land right now. On and off stream. I'll be advertising Guild Wars uh, 2 soon. That's coming up. What happened to the dang guy? Made a bet and he lost. Nothing major. You're into Guild Wars 2? I'm into being paid money. <laughs> And let me tell you, they're gonna pay me some money to advertise Guild Wars 2. Money can be expensive. Am I gonna play it? I tried to download it. It was actually kind of exhausting because I'd lost access to my ArenaNet account. And by the time I got it back and I reinstalled Guild Wars 1, I realized there's no way in hell I'm ever gonna play Guild Wars 1. But the servers are still up though. But I never bothered trying Guild Wars 2, which was which was a mistake. I was like, man, Guild Wars 1 looks way worse than I remember it. Like, this game looks terrible. It's like a large flat plane with bloom smeared all over everything. Gator, hello. Good uh, good afternoon. Good morning. I have no concept what time it is right now. I remember the absolute frothing anger that happened when Guild Wars, the game that was mostly advertised around having good PvP setup was discovered that the majority of the balancing was done around the players that were playing the game in PvE. People got real mad. Which, I mean, understandable. I mean, the PvE was fun in the game, but like, you could just balance the encounters. You have to change the skills. I don't really know how to wake this up. They only beta tested up to level 30, but the cap was up to 60, and you could tell? Uh oh. Well, those games are neat because, like, it's buy once and play forever, right? That's pretty cool. We were just talking about Longsword earlier. I was talking about how, like, the stink from base rise, like, has me turned against Longsword. I'll get into it at some point. Probably not this week. It's just, it's got like a stigma. Like, I don't even really understand like the flow anymore. Like I'm assuming Helmbreaker is still usable? There's 
no flow, it's just EI spam. <laughs> There's no way that's true. The spirit combo is stronger. It has it had fate slash. But it did not have spirit levels in Freedom Unite. Longsword at Fate Slash? Yeah. Yeah, it was introduced. I mean, the weapon, it's, it's part of the base kit. Going backwards. Fate Slash was adding fortune? Cool. What's the skill for Hammer that makes it look like you're hitting a monster multiple times with each swing? Uh, I think it's this one? Impact burst. Also, um, courage in general also hits twice. And there's no, there's really no newbie questions here. I mean, there might be somebody in chat who has like 5,000 hours on Switch Axe and is an absolute god in Switch Axe, but just never tried Hammer before. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with asking a question. Do you mean jumping round slash or jumping fade slash or whatever it is? Another two pelts! Let's go, boys. How do I craft a new weapon? Look into your heart. Where is it? Hold on. Hunter notes. Weapon controls. Longsword. Spirit Step Slash is what it's called now. That is not what it was always called. <laughs> I hate it when they change the names of the moves. Like... <laughs> In Try, the Fade Slash let you go left and right. That was new in Try. But it's, it, it, that's not the name. At least, at least I don't think that's the name. Like, I'm being like, gaslit. Like, maybe, is that the name? I guess it is now. I'm like, losing my mind. They call it a fade slash combo. It is, but the move itself, it was like jumping something. Jumping fade slash or something. I'm not gonna boot up World. I don't even. I don't even know if I still have World installed. I think I uninstalled it to make space for video editing. Isn't that from a ledge? No. I'm gonna look it up. I'm looking it up. Okay. I mean, what would what would even have it? <laughs> Do I gotta go to Fextra Life? Ew. <laughs> How many people in the history of the internet have typed in Fextra Life Longsword Controls? It's not even there. Spirit Jumping Slash. 
is what it's called. Or at least that's what Fexter Life has. Should I find a Tetranodon? I guess I will. Little baby one. Oh, let's find, um, let's get like a real one. <laughs> I, I, like, why, why do you gotta be so, so mean, but so correct? Why you gotta be like that? Do I use anti-wyvern or anti-aerial? I use anti-aerial, and if you want more information as to why, you can check out um, my Rampage decoration video on my YouTube. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What is this quest? <laughs> no. All right. Well, we. All right. We're gonna. We're, strap in, guys. <laughs> You're gonna be here for a while. It's a good thing we got 50 minutes. The embed is so bad. So I don't know how exactly it works out for them in terms of their sponsored content, but if I could tell you directly or indirectly how much more money they would be getting paid by a sponsor, if they actually had the amount of people they're watching, you would probably crap your pants. It's actually insane. Like, I would worry that, I mean, if I did that, I would be worried that a sponsor would be like, actually, you, you've defrauded us <laughs> because we paid for X amount of viewers and we only had 10% of them actually click on the link. 10% of the expected amount click on the link. Norton 360 numbers? <laughs> But you know, you know what I mean. Not actually 10%, but like, you know, 10% of the expected number of people that would have clicked the link. Ten percent is a point zero one percent of people clicked the link. So, I mean, it's it's good. I mean, I, I think ultimately, if you could do it and you didn't care about the optics of being the guy that did that, um, you would do it. Why wouldn't you? It's just, this is an afflicted Tetra quest, yes. It's not sneak attack hammer, it's just like hard to hit. But it's possible that you know they don't they don't get sponsored streams or stuff like that, or the sponsors are just okay or they they come up with some other metric that they use to negotiate off of. <laughs> Poor Fastimer's got one ad click from Long Donker. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, I just don't know. It... It is pretty well known. There's there's apparently like um 
discords for like marketing companies and stuff that share information as for um, the streamers that view bot and get caught for doing it. So. Not that they're, what they're doing is technically view botting, it's like legal view botting. Do you even want to call it that? I mean, even for a while, Twitch was kind of propositioning the concept of legal view bots. I don't know if anyone remembers. There was a while, I don't know if they still, if you can still do this. They were going to give people the option to spend money to boost your channel in, like, the rankings? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Can they, do they, do they still let you do that? I honestly don't even know. Friend used to get those naturally? I mean, good for them, I guess? I mean, as it is, um, it's still a little strange because, and like, I don't, I don't necessarily mind it. Like, whatever, I'm lucky enough to be able to do what I can do, anyways. But I guess they switched it so that uh, category rankings is not immediately based off of channel size, which is a good thing for discoverability. You, you don't want the top person always to be dominating. But then it makes you wonder, like, how are they determining? Who, who gets top billing, like, does the number of ads you run matter? Subscriber percentage of viewers? It's a little sus, you know? Oh, I forgot that! Um, Courage Hammer was, like, incredibly toxic in multiplayer. Could be YouTube discoverability? I mean, I don't even know that there's anything YouTube at this point can do to fix YouTube. There's so many people making so much content every day. Like, good content, dude. Not even, like, bad content. Good content. That, like, how do you even get into people's feeds? I mean, you could ask people to subscribe. You, they may not see your video. You can ask them to hit the bell. They still may not see your video. <laughs> if, they, if you're the sort of person that always clicks the bell, then the bell is meaningless. YouTube discoverability is great compared to Twitch. Oh, yeah. Now, in, in, in terms of total viewers, like, one YouTube video will get me way more than one Twitch stream, but far less engagement, for whatever the hell that means. How do you search for streams of specific stuff? I mean, they gave us the option to add any tags we want, but at the same time, like, how the hell do you know what tags to search for? You don't know what you don't know. Kind of person only goes by the homepage. I use the homepage sometimes, and I'm just like looking to see whatever. But I, I do check on new subscriptions. I would say the majority of people do not use tags. Twitch lets me tell streamer he's wrong to his face. Yeah, you don't you don't get that on YouTube. How do I tell them very nicely that I'm using courage? I'm trying to be nice. I really am. 
Like, I'm paying attention where I'm uppercutting. I don't hate that the longsword uses up ahead now. We're just we're in a different video game than we used to be. Got a lot of people mad at you, Shuff. Understandable. Worst time to run away, huh? How about that event quest? What, are, what is your instinctual gut feeling when I say the words Aknasam and Blood Orge Bishatin? Do you have any, like, strong feelings in your heart? What happens when I say gesture? I didn't, I didn't say afflicted, did I? Gestures. The only gestures that really mattered were the ones in world that like played like a gigantic spotlight when you did them, you know? No! <laughs> I think I've gotten us at least two KOs per monster. Cut in 4K? <laughs> what did you say? I think they're saying the radial menu is super scuffed, which it kind of is. Dame Dane. <laughs> Dame no. This person's funny. I like them. Yeah, no, they're they're fun. I enjoy them. Unfortunately, this is not going to get me the Tetradon quest that I'm going to want to repeat. <laughs> like, at all, not even a little bit. 
Higher levels of investigations are toxic? Really? Uh, blue points on the map are you can have your dog sniff out certain items. And so those are all like local items for points. any new moves on Apex Rathian, but somebody did say, like, Apex Arzuros gets a move from, like, normal Master Rank Arzuros. So it's possible she does get one, and I just didn't notice. So you know that little menu that you use with the D-pad? It's under there, and it's called Sniff It Out. We can look for a lot of things, actually. Ever plan to get the Narwha hammer? I kinda like this hammer, you know? This hammer's pretty good. I just took them both out. Oh, that feels so bad. <laughs> Here's what I mean. I'm just gonna do this. You gotta be really careful how you aim the hammer as I send fluffles. <laughs> I should have just done narwhal hunting for it. Can you even get hate mail on Steam? Hey, just tried to save me. find that list. Do I know I, I don't I do not know. Oh god, that was lag. That wasn't on purpose. How did they get sent so far? I mean, there's like things in this corner. I mean, it's a lot of damage, I guess. All 
Alright, I'm not the only one suffering. But oh, they're not the only one. I'm suffering too. Did this in a sappy lobby, you would murder us? That's different. <laughs> if I saw it, yeah, it would be a problem. If you did it to me specifically, yes. But it's different when I... <laughs> I got two likes. Oh, come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on. What, am I not allowed to play Hammer? Huh? Because you want to play Longsword? Huh? Following you. Sixty-six <laughs> approval rate. Ellie approves. They're just shy. Shy player. I've done nothing wrong. It's pretty good rewards, I guess. I don't know. I've seen better. Ninety-eight Tetronodon. It's only one. It's a ninety-eight Bazarios. That's crazy. I like never want to fight that. No. <laughs> no, not really. isn't even that bad now, though, is it? I don't think it's that bad. It's my highest thing. Is there anything to gain at level 100? Personal satisfaction. Elemental SAD laughs at Bezerus. What do you use? Do you use dragon or water? Ninety-eight crab looks funny. He just doesn't have reduced time. And I like reduced time on monsters. Like this one, this one looks really good. Viserys takes good element. He takes I think he takes really good dragon. You have to remember, his hit zones change when he heats up as well. Twenty-three dragon when he heated up. How much water? I think the water goes up to twenty-five. I don't even know why I'm looking at Longsword. I wouldn't mind fighting... I don't even know if I want, like, a Narwha hammer. 
you join, you got five 30 second ads. You shouldn't have gotten any pre rolls. I don't think. Yeah, this even gets purple. Can I even run an ad right now? Literally, literally an ad, an ad roll just started. <laughs> I can't even click on it. So not not only were they waterboarded, now they're getting hit with more ads. I can't, I can't do it. I can't even redeem it. I can't, I can't do, I can't do anything. Might be fun to do like dragon hammer against like Raffian. This even has like an augment on it. I don't know what's going on there. What is that? What is this? Elemental boost one? Wow. Uh, why do you need so many afflicted pelts? I need to kill like 50 to 60 Azuchi. That's so stupid. Like, I don't even want to spend it. Like, it makes me sad. Kill Kulu instead? What is he even weak to? Is he even really weak to water? I mean, Baggy's good, but it, like, isn't it boring? He just dies. Arzos is like at least a hunt. Sort by star level. Oh, here we go. Are these the only A ones that I have left? I don't even have a Ragi. Sorry, your RNG sacrifice didn't work. Understandable. Lazarus is bone. Just makes me sad. Just makes it fills me with like sadness. I mean, unless, like, you have to count on, like, two Azuchi per weapon. Have you ever tried speedrunning a low rank Azuchi? No? Have you? <laughs> what? I mean, I've killed them before, and, like, they die very quickly. But, like, like a speedrun?
Sounds like I scared him. Yeah, maybe I am. Damage looks really good. Am I gonna make a gnome sound? I'm not trying to make a gnome sound. This is like a natural noise I make. So much damage. That does not need to be that strong. Why can't every attack have that much hit stuff? Sex board level one. Something was hitting at 51. Where are the dogs guns? You know, I switched one of them over to the um, light attack for gun lance. I, I gotta switch their gun back. But one of them is guns. Ray Kelly, you think there's time for that? It's dead. <laughs> I feel like Twitch introduced the emote modification thing and then immediately forgot about it. Three pelts. Let me 
fight a guy for sombreros, possibly. Mirror text emotes to make swear words? That sounds fun. That's an okay deco that I will probably never use. I actually don't really mind bows. But they're definitely harder to play without um, a mouse and keyboard. Or sorry, with gyro. I don't really want to do another Izuchi. I definitely do not want to do a Ligambi. It's my best charm? Uh, I've got a nearly equivalent... Oh, well, this is an okay charm. May, may not be my best. It's like something like this. Something like this. So I've got this one. Crit I 3, Hellfire Cloak 1 with a level 2. And I've got Attack Boost 3 with a level 2 and Resentment. This one's okay too. Rapid Morph 3, 2 level 2 is a level 1. And 1 point of Windproof. I mean, who cares about the Windproof? I have no idea what to use here. Thunderax is actually not even that good. Yeah, they're good. I mean, you know. I didn't hack or anything, so in terms of legally obtained charms, they're good. So I'm just gonna go for the scorned first, and then I'll switch weapons. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I never feel like I haven't been able to make a set because I didn't have like a hacked charm. Attack two with level four, that'll be good. Someday. It could be good now. <laughs> if you really need that level 4 slot, if you, you make use of it, it could be good. Evade Extender. There's a lot of people that I feel like get addicted to Evade Extender. Uh, on Charge Blade with Savage Axe specifically. Just one more point. Just one more point of Evade Extender. That's all I need.
Oh god, he's still doing it! <laughs> I thought he was gonna stop. Should I not have Wirebug recovered? I thought he'd be done. I'll just switch that. Should be back. But we weren't gone for long. What were we gone for? A couple seconds? No, 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 It's been 20 minutes, it's not been. like a, a way to make that skill even more broken. Something that would like let you re like activate it faster. Jesus Christ. I'm doing this for me. the thing. Yeah. No! <laughs> the gauge, the gauge wore out the last second. And I started to manually transform as I was walking away. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. I'm getting I'm getting nervous now. I'm not worried about Malzino. You worried about Malzino? I'm not worried about Malzino. Yeah. This doesn't look like I really set it up. Does he take thunder damage? Or water damage? 
like Gunning and Freedom Unite, that's a good game for it. Takes no water damage. Takes some fire damage. This could definitely be a better set, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to rebuild it inside. Yeah, Scorn should be like Apex. Actually, I think I would be more afraid of Actasom than I would be Malzino. No cap for real. Part of team no cap. You guys usually do your challenge in like, was it like October or November? I'm here to help with any carded. That's kind of funny. Do you feel like that helped in any way? Kind of anticlimactic. That's that's an understatement. <laughs> it was very sad, especially after they showed all the really cool event quests that were possible. They're like, no, nope. you're gonna get an Axisom and a Blood Orange Pichetin. You're gonna like it. That attack seems weaker. Oh, right, we're back. Kind of. Kind of back. I didn't die yet. Not for lack of trying. This is the time when all the Italian people get home and start using their internet. The internet is not good at this time of day. <laughs> oh! 
an amazing amount of frames for us. Streaming the Italian dramas. They like to watch this one guy called Don Mateo. He's got like a weird little hat. He used to be a priest. And he helps out the police with his priest powers. I think the, the resolution to most storylines is you didn't go to church enough. <laughs> Feels like that's what it is. I want to get him with this thing. I guess I'll wait for him to more about. Like coalescence? With bloodlight? I'm a little I don't I don't wanna misspeak or get too confused. Uh I don't think I've tested it. It should work. Resuscitate. I mean crisis too, right? Same thing, right? If you've got a negative thing on you. I gotta, I gotta finish making this switch axe set. Dog time? Greasy, glowing, angry shepherd time? Yeah. definitely do that. An outfit voucher plus and a golden egg. Hooray. She's so excited. Huh? She's so excited. Huh? Sedita. 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 Sedita.
She's wonderful. Even the dog doesn't respect him. She was getting very excited. It's hard when she gets excited for her to focus. Permanent dog cam needed. She's a wonderful dog. I'm glad the stream didn't die during that. The dog is overweight. She might be a little overweight. I've been taking her with um, walks on me in the morning. So she's getting a little bit more exercise lately. Yeah, she's like nine or 10 years old. So I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, I have not named any of my Palamutes after Gaucha yet. She's a, she's a leisure dog. She can live longer with a few less pounds. Okay, well, she's not technically my dog. I feed her back up with treats. Excuse me. But is it not good? The diet dog treats? That's what they said at the pet food store. Everyone's got, the, everyone's got an opinion. just like some monsters just look at you like I do not want to fight that monster <laughs> I want to fight that monster the camera's kind of hecked up right now like whatever it's good good enough I don't feed somebody uh, yeah I don't give them like the proper thing did I hit research level cap today yes like, yes, the dog I'm going to see for two weeks that I'm taking on walks and helping learn some tricks gets an extra couple treats out of the day. Yes, I'm an actual Hitler. there. I'd be a Mussolini. <laughs> There's some people out there that still like Berlusconi, man. Maybe even a couple that still like Mussolini. 
I don't understand that, though. But, I mean, I guess they don't get into power for, like, no reason, so... I don't know. I guess it makes sense. Like slightly more resistant to statuses, like KO and stuff, because I feel like sometimes they don't get hit by things when they should. It takes longer to KO them than it should. I almost want to do some political streams because things have been getting wacky in the United States. Like crazy. That dog just bit it. That tiger stood up. I mean, compared to the U.S., I mean, the U.K. is doing all right. I'm sure if you're in the U.K., you would probably be like, actually, no. But from my perspective, they're doing fine. Let's jump left the seat. Uh, our main internal crime organization for, like, counterterrorism raided his home like a week ago to retrieve a bunch of classified documents he should not have had. So that, it, I mean, look, d don't take this the wrong way, but it, I mean, that owns, right? I mean, that's crazy. And the weird thing is it's like, it wasn't a surprise. They've been like yelling at him for two years now being like, hey, all those secret classified documents you have? Yeah, you need to give those back. And he just didn't. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, nah. Nah, I'm just, I'm gonna keep them here at, at my golf course. And it's like, what can you do? I mean, I guess get raided by the FBI. People are like, oh, you're using the Justice Department weaponized against your political rivals. And it's like, do you not remember the part where he got impeached for trying to get Ukraine to get dirt on his political rival? I mean, from my, my perspective as like uh, somebody who's trained in economics, like, UK was in a great position with Brexit because they were part of the EU, but they still get to keep their own currency. I mean, that's amazing. I, I talk about all the positives with none of the negatives.
I mean, the ironic thing, the amazing thing, is the next Prime Minister of the UK could 100% probably reapproach the EU and join instantly. So it's like, it's not like the end of the world. Well, I'm pretty sure there are documents that you cannot declassify. Like, you probably cannot declassify the sites of every nuclear weapon in the US's um, military, as well as their launch codes. It's not gonna happen? I'm not saying whether it is or isn't, just like it's possible. So people in UK don't like the EU? I mean, it's fine if they don't like it. I mean, if they want their country to suffer from, you know, less qualified foreign labor and worse trade agreements, I mean, that's, that's like a choice you could do. Like I said, the only thing that I, I feel like is a, a downside to being in the EU is you no longer have control over your own currency if you're required to use the euro. I can't really think of any other downside. If somebody wants to give me one, like, I'll consider it. I just don't even understand why it would be unpopular to be in the EU and the UK in the first place. Like, unless you hate, like, immigration, like, that much. I don't want people from another country in my country. I'm British. That's not my British accent, by the way. I don't know what that was. I mean, I don't, I mean, within the EU, right, you can't deny anyone, but if, like, you don't want, like, foreign refugees from people outside the EU, like, what's, you just be like, no, don't come into the country. Laws being amended by people actively dislike your country. So there's some like EU laws that were like maybe specifically targeted to be anti-UK. I could see that if it's accurate being kind of annoying. Fishing rights, I mean I don't I don't know anything about that. Roy Lavotro Kinder. I don't know what that means. UK has politicians who imitate British accent to fit in with the working class. I mean, the US has similar things. I think most politicians probably do weird stuff like that. I'm going to translate this into Japanese. That is not correct. Here's Italian. Do you want the Kinder Egg? You guys want to see a Kinder Egg on stream? We can't get them in the US. They're like illegal. See, see Kinder. I've never had one before. She's ringing the bell. I, I think I heard the bell. You have them in the US, but the toys are like packed separately. I'm <laughs> buying for the theater audience. I got them. Ciao. Ciao, do you have the, do you have the bell?
if I brought this into the U.S., I'd get in trouble. I seriously would, yeah. Yeah, I know the, the law in the U.S. is you're not allowed to put toys inside of something you might eat yeah, yeah. because they think a kid will just eat it and eat the toy and then die. That's... Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. A dopo. It's fine. Should go better. There is, I'm not really centered. What do I got to go more this way? Happy Meals have toys, but you don't put the toy inside the burger. That's the difference. Them being used as drug containers? <laughs> I mean, people put drugs in all sorts of things. I mean, people put drugs in their, their anus. Don't choke. Let's see, let's see how dangerous it really is. That's a Kinder Joy, not a Kinder Egg? Oh, is it not the same? Oh, this is like the baby version. Is this the version you can't die eating? It had like this thing. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm going to peel the foil open and it's going to spray its contents all over the place. Okay. There is... <laughs> there is... Uh, this... <laughs> Two little chocolate balls suspended in a cream. Oh, let me open up the other side. What? Is that it? Is that what I eat? Here's the toy. There's a lot of things in here. It's like a monkey. <laughs> okay. This is going to be really bad. I don't know how to assemble it. I've got a little Fast and the Furious sticker. Losing <laughs> the children's. Hold on, there's there's like an instruction manual in here. That is a very big instruction. That was easy. It's just like that. And it has like a little thing on the back. I guess, I guess I just eat. I guess I just eat this now. I think this is what you eat it with. Let me get a big taste of that ball. It's actually pretty good. It's got a little malt in there. It's mostly milk chocolate. Mm. 
We good? Looks like the stream didn't die too much. Frames couldn't handle the balls. Too hot for Twitch. Well, it's pretty good. I don't know what this monkey is. I think you you put the string around here. I have no idea. I really don't know. <laughs> 